As I was doing my skincare the other day, I noticed I was running out of the toner I use and I'm currently challenging myself to not spend as much and save money wherever I can. So I was inspired to make some toner myself using ingredients I already have around the house. And I know many of you enjoy homemade skincare, so I decided to film myself making them. So in this video, I'll be sharing four very simple DIY toners using all natural ingredients. I'm starting off with a frankincense toner. I started using frankincense in my skincare routine about five years ago when I was looking for natural ways to heal my acne scars. And that's when I discovered all the amazing benefits it has for the skin. It's anti-inflammatory and helps speed up the wound healing process. It has natural astringent properties and is great if you're looking for something that will provide anti-aging benefits. So when it comes to homemade skincare for the face, this is my essential oil of choice. So you want to add 10 drops of frankincense to about an ounce of distilled water. And I'm also adding a little bit of glycerin, which acts as a humectant. So it's going to help retain moisture and soften the skin. By the way, I've been loving these glass spray bottles. They have a matte finish, so it helps protect whatever liquid you put in here from UV light. And you want to use something like this, especially when you're working with essential oils, to help keep them safe. I'll have a link to these in the description box for anyone that's interested. So now you just want to give it a little shake, and this toner is ready to use. Rosemary has to be one of my favorite herbs. It not only smells amazing and is actually a great herb to use for aromatherapy if you're dealing with stress or anxiety, but it also has so many beauty benefits. It has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties, making it a great option if you have acne. It's also rich in antioxidants, so it helps fight signs of aging and sun damage as well. So you want to use fresh rosemary for this and add it to a pot of boiling water and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Then you want to take it off the heat and let it cool down while it steeps for a little bit longer. Once it reaches room temperature, add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. This is another amazing ingredient for the skin. It's going to help balance the skin's pH and stimulate circulation. I'll have all the recipes as well as the shelf life and storage information for each toner in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. Rice water has been used as a skincare and hair care product for centuries. It contains amino acids, vitamins, and minerals that are known to protect and repair the skin. It's a natural skin brightener and it makes your skin glow. It also lightens scars, minimizes pores, and reduces things like fine lines and wrinkles. The best part is it's super affordable and it doesn't take much effort to make. There are a few ways you can go about making this. You can soak it, boil it, or ferment it. I'll be showing you the soaking method, which I think is the easiest way, and you guys know I'm all about making my life as simple as possible. So you first want to rinse the rice and make sure it's clean. Then you want to cover it with water and let it soak for 30 minutes. You can definitely leave it for longer, but you want to at least let it soak for half an hour so all the vitamins and minerals have enough time to seep into the water. Now you want to strain it and get out all the water and pour this into your container of choice. I remember I used to use green tea as a toner when I was in high school and it's one I like to go back to every now and then when I'm looking for something very, very simple. Green tea is packed with antioxidants and is so calming and soothing on the skin. It makes for a great toner because the tannins in green tea act as an astringent. And this is such a simple recipe. 
All you do is make yourself a cup of green tea. Steep a green tea bag or green tea leaves in hot water for a few minutes and then let it cool down completely. After it's cool, transfer it to your bottle and store this in the refrigerator for up to one week. Simple, natural, and effective. Whether you're trying to save money or you're making the switch to simple, natural skincare, I hope you find these recipes helpful. And if you're into DIY and all natural skincare products, I have an entire playlist full of recipes that you can make, so I'll have that linked here. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.